All right, I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. I want you all to think of a card. Seriously, think of any card that you want, but please avoid the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. These are very common cards that people tend to think of. So think of any card that you want, get it in your head. And, and, and even if you think this is cheesy and it's not gonna work, just do it. Think of one, got it? Good, lock it in your head, don't forget it. You're thinking of the Seven of Diamonds. Okay, I know I got it mostly wrong for most of you, but for those of you who I got it right with, please do leave a comment down below, just for funsies. I just adore and love mentalism, simply because when I do something with my hands, people sometimes can say, oh, it's sleight of hand, you're using, the hands are quicker than the eye, stuff like that. But when you do something with somebody's mind, they really don't have an out, and they're kind of stuck there going, <laughs> And I love doing that to people. I'm a horrible human being. Let's play a real quick game, all right? I've never ever lost this game before, okay? So I've made my bet already and it's in this envelope here. And again, I'm just gonna say, I've never ever lost this game ever before, undefeatable. Uh, but before we play, Lenny, do you have some uh, coins on you? Yeah, sure. Can I just borrow, do you mind if I borrow these coins? Yeah, go for it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just thought you might be worried that I might steal them or something. <laughs> uh, can I borrow the uh, 20 cent coins? Go for it. Okay, beautiful. So we take these 20 cent coins here. All right, I'll leave those back for you. Now, Lenny, to play this game, you need to name some random shapes. Just name some random shapes. Okay. I'll draw it on there. Triangle. Okay, triangle. Uh, Done. Circle. A circle, yep. Uh, yep. Square. A square. Um, star. A star. Yep. And rectangle. And a rectangle. Okay, beautiful. All right. This is how we're going to play the game. All right. I'm going to leave everything. I'm not going to touch this envelope here. Okay. Lenny, can you hold out your hands like this? Okay. Like that? Yeah. Wow. You have really girly hands. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, no, no worries. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to leave these coins in your hands. Okay. I want you to close them. And I want you to shake the coins up, okay? Shake the coins up until you're happy and then stop when you're happy. You happy with that? Yep. Okay, now what I wanna do is when you open your hands in a moment, whichever coin that doesn't have a shape on it, take it and put it on the table, okay? Okay. Okay, try, let's have a look. Okay, so, oh, they're all facing out, let's try again. No, that's good, that's good, okay. That's all right, mate. try again. Shake it up quite a lot and open and let's have a look. Open it up, okay. Now whichever one that doesn't have it, put it onto the table. And look through. Okay, now let's go again. Beautiful, keep shaking it. And let's have a look now. Open up your hands. Beautiful, they're all still there. Let's oh, keep going. Sorry, I didn't eat enough rice today, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I'm really sorry. No worries, mate, no worries. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, I'm sure. Okay, okay. let's have a look now. Oh, okay, now take those three and put it onto the table. Beautiful, so at the end of the day, we're left with one coin, uh, the circle. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. You see, the funny thing is, I never lose this game, Lenny, ever. Because look, before we even started, I wrote one thing, and there's only one thing in this envelope. Have a look. Oh, let me show you. There's only one thing that's written in here. Okay, and I've got it here on the piece of paper, and I want you to read it out loud. It says, uh, in the end, you will be left with a circle. Wow. See, now you owe me your soul. To be able to do this routine, you have to understand and know how to do the finger palm with coins. Once you understand that, you're ready to do the routine. Okay, this routine will require some setup. So you guys are gonna to have to do this prior. You're gonna to have to write, in the end, you will be left with a circle. Okay, it's up to you how you wanna write this, but essentially you want to guess a shape. And in this case, I'm going to be guessing the circle. All right, so you put this into the envelope and usually you would seal it up as well. Okay, beautiful. Once you got that done, there's one more thing you need to do. You need to draw on one side of your own coins. All right, so here I'm just gonna draw the circle. Boom, and done. Just neatly, that's fine. Beautiful. Once you've got that drawn there, you're ready to do the routine. Now that you're ready, usually when I walk up to the people uh, and before I do the routine, I'd have this in my back pocket and I'd actually have the coin in a finger palm position with a pen in my hand ready to go because if you're not holding a pen and you're holding a finger palm, it can seem a little unnatural if you're always gesturing with your fingers closed. You put a pen in there, 
all of a sudden your hand looks natural no matter what you're doing now because that's how you normally hold a pen, okay? So you walk up to a group of people and you drag this out. Don't say too much about it, just place it on the table and say you're gonna leave it there in full view the entire time. Now you ask the spectators, ask a whole bunch of people if they have spare change because you want at least five coins that are of the same kind, okay? So let's say I asked a whole bunch of people that gave me a whole bunch of coins, so bring the coins forward. What you do here is, as you reach forward, you switch the pen into the other hand. As you reach forward, and you drop that gimmick coin that you drew on before on top of the pile, and people won't notice. So you go on, drop it on top. So this is this coin here. There you go. Grab all the coins, making sure you keep track of where that top coin is, and then just drop it on the table like this. You see, now you've added a gimmicked coin to the pile without the spectators even knowing. Okay, in this position, you have to remember where that gimmick coin is, okay? It's very important. I know it's this one here, okay? So double check, have a look, boom, all right? So you strategically say, uh, let's just use the 20 cent coins. Let's just use the 20 cent coins. And the premises for using the 20 cent coins is just go, just so that they're all the same shape, or whatever it is that you want to say, okay? I, I usually say that just so that it's the same shape and size is fine. So you go 20 cent coins, strategically move that gimmick coin to the most right hand side there, and then grab another four 20 cent coins, like so, and you can push the rest of the coins back to the spectators like that, all right? Now, this is the part that's very, very deceiving. Because to the spectators, you're only gonna be drawing on one side of the coin here, where in actual fact, you've already done a circle on this side. So your objective here is to draw another circle on this side, and pretty much the trick is done, all right? But in doing so, you go to the spectator, think of, think of any random shapes. Let me just think of some. Uh, triangle. See, so if he says triangle, don't draw on this coin. You can draw a triangle on any other coin except this coin. So just go, okay, uh, triangle. Then come in, draw a triangle, and you're done. You go, next Lenny. Um, smiley face. Smiley face. Yep. So then I draw a smiley face. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, a sun. A sun, so like a circle? Yeah. Okay, so say now that he said a circle, then you aim for this one over here, all right? So then you go over here and you draw a circle. Yep. And you see now you're basically done because You've got a circle here and you've got a circle here. Okay, so Nelly, just name a couple more. A uh, square. A square and the last one. A uh, star. And then a star. Okay. So you see, once you're here, the trick is almost done. So, Lenny, can you hold your hands out like this? Yeah, sure. Seriously, your hands are really feminine, man. Oh, thanks. That's okay. Oh, man, it's really weird. Kind of attracted to you for some reason. Uh, can you hold the coins in your hands like so? So you see, you've got to be very careful that this coin doesn't flip over or else they're going to see. So ideally, you want to place it behind so that there's no chance of that coin flipping over during the performance, okay? Then get the spectators to put both their hands on top together and to get them to shake it up. And you see, the trick here is done. Because it doesn't matter how many times they do it. Open your hands up. You see, right now, nothing's turned over. Do it again. Just go again. Okay, now let's have a look. Go again. It doesn't matter how many times they do this. See, there's three coins there at the moment with no pictures. So you take these and you put them on the table. And go again. And by the law of chance, this coin will always have a picture. So go again, just go again, just for the sake of the, uh, the tutorial. And go again, just to prove it to you guys. You see, now you're in a position where you're left with the circle. So just be very careful. Don't reach for it straight away as if it's a gimmick. Just slowly come over, grab it, place it on the table. Now you're ready to do the last part, the reveal. Now this bit is the best bit because you guys have already finished the trick. You just have to be very careful that the spectators don't grab this coin. But there's no reason they're going to grab this coin anyway. There's no heat on the coin because they don't even know what's happening. So, so far you lift open and you take this out and just make sure you show them that the envelope is empty as well. And once they read this, trust me, I know this trick is simple but it plays huge with the average layman. So they're just gonna absolutely freak out when they read this and they're not gonna understand how you did this. Tip number one. If you guys are very concerned about this coin and you think the spectator is gonna grab it and things like that and you wanna end up clean, this is what you can do. Because you still have a pen that's out in the open, you can use the premises of taking the pen, going south with it, and grabbing another coin that you prepared earlier that's only got one circle drawn on it on one side. Then you, when you go in, you finger palm that out, so you got it in finger palm. Then when you go and you grab this coin here to show the spectators, you go grab those coins there, and then as they grab these coins out on the table, you do a one-handed switch like this, and you hand them the coin, and you just go south now with the gimmick coin, and no one is ever gonna know there was a gimmick coin in play at any time. Tip number two. 
Another reason why I love doing coin routines is because they're very disarming. Because coins, they're very ordinary objects. So this one is great to open a routine with. Because you know how sometimes you might be dealing with cards all the time. It's great to be able to just deal with coins to start with. And you're borrowing coins from the spectator as well. That's why this is really great. Because uh, it's actually possible. If you think about it, there's only five 20 cent pieces. And when you really think about it, the chances are this could be possible. So it's not a situation where it's absolutely impossible and it's crazy that you got it. There's a slight chance this could be real. You see, it could be luck. So it's a great way to warm up the crowd before you hit them with the stronger effects. Angles. The only angles you're gonna to have to look out for are your finger palm angles. And if you choose to do the one-handed switch, make sure you've got that down pat and make sure you know the angles for it. I hope you all enjoyed that routine and I hope you get some, some miles out of it and you're able to perform it for the people that you love. Tell me how you go in the comment section below and remember my friends, for all your magic needs, make sure you go to 52cards.com and if you want to follow me at all on any of my social media, all the links are down below. Take care my friends, see you again real soon. Bye.